Hello everyone. My name is Martin Strupp and I'm part of John Gamel's Estimation Search and Planning Group in the Oxford Robotics Institute at the University of Oxford. This video presents our ICRA paper on Advanced BitStar, a sampling-based path planning algorithm with advanced graph search techniques. I want to put a BitStar in context by introducing RRT star first. RRT star is an almost surely asymptotically optimal path planning algorithm that has been successfully applied to many systems. You can see how it solves a narrow passage problem on the right-hand side of this slide. RRT star almost surely finds an asymptotically optimal path to every state in the state space. This means that once RRT star has found an initial solution, it continues to spend computational effort on regions of the state space that cannot possibly improve its current solution, such as the bottom right corner in the example on the right. RRT star does not separate the approximation of the state space from the search of the state space. It therefore searches the state space in random order because every random sample is immediately connected to the search tree. BITSAR represents a different planning paradigm for single query planners. It aims to unify informed graph search algorithms such as ASTAR with sampling based algorithms such as RRTSTAR. BITSAR only searches for asymptotically optimal paths to states in the informed set, which is the set of states that can possibly prove the current solution. It separates approximation from search by constructing and searching an increasingly dense edge implicit random geometric graph, or RGG for short. BitStar searches this graph by prioritizing efficiency, similar to A star. One consequence of this is that it does not find an initial solution until it finds the resolution optimal solution on the first random geometric graph that contains a solution. Another consequence is that BitStar always fully exploits its approximation using a single search on every level of approximation to find the resolution optimal solution on each level. Advanced BitStar builds on BitStar. It also focuses its computational effort to the informed set and separates approximation from search by constructing and searching an increasingly dense etch implicit random geometric graph, just like BitStar. In contrast to BitStar, however, ABITSTAR prioritizes initial solution times over efficiency, similar to any time repairing A-STAR or ARA-STAR for short. It achieves this by using multiple searches per level of approximation, which I will explain in more details on the next slide. Another difference between ABITSTAR and BITSTAR is that ABITSTAR balances exploiting the current level of approximation with exploring the state space. It does this by truncating its search once it realizes that the current level of approximation does not contain a solution that is much better than the solution a BitStar has already found. This can be done because a BitStar search can always provide an upper bound on the suboptimality of the current solution in the context of the current approximation. A BitStar often finds an initial solution faster than BitStar. The price for this is that a BitStar would often have to expand more states than BitStar if it wanted to guarantee that it has found the resolution optimal solution. But notice that in the context of path planning on random geometric graphs, resolution optimality is not practically meaningful, as it doesn't say much about the quality of the path in the continuous sense of the state space. On top of that, a BitStar can sometimes actually find the resolution optimal solution faster than BitStar. It is just less efficient in guaranteeing that this is in fact the resolution optimal solution. But again, this guarantee is not practically meaningful in this context. Let me highlight the differences between BitStar search and ABITSTAR search using an A-Connect grid. The presented implementation of ABITSTAR searches every level of approximation twice. The first of these searches is conducted with a highly inflated heuristic. The second of these searches can efficiently repair the solution that was found with the first search, because ABITSTAR keeps track of the states whose connections have been improved since they were first expanded. Let's see what the two searches look like. A BitStar has already found an initial solution and is now repairing this solution, which also tightens the bound on its resolution suboptimality. Soon, BitStar will have found its initial solution, which it can immediately guarantee to be the resolution optimal solution. Notice that a BitStar has found the resolution optimal solution in fewer iterations than BitStar. But because it has inflated its heuristic, it cannot guarantee that this is in fact the resolution optimal solution. But since this guarantee is not practically meaningful in our context, it is beneficial for a BitStar to truncate its search before it can guarantee the resolution optimality of its solution, because this allows it to increase the resolution of its approximation sooner and search this improved approximation. 
The subtle differences in search strategies between BitStar and ABitStar can have a significant impact on practical performance, as we'll see on the next slide. Because there is a random component to these sampling-based algorithms, we need to look at statistical results. These plots show the performances of RRT Connect in black, FMT star in yellow, RRT star in red, BitStar in blue, and ABitStar in green on the narrow passage problem we've seen on the previous slides. Each planner was run 100 times for 0.2 seconds. The top plot shows the percentage of successful runs over time for each planner. The bottom plot shows the median solution costs with 99% confidence intervals. The lines show the median costs over time, and the dots show the median costs and times of the initial solutions. We can see that ABIT starts faster than the other tested asymptotically optimal planners. The only planner that is faster than a bit star is RRT Connect, which is not an anytime algorithm and cannot improve its solution given more computation time. FMT star is also not an anytime algorithm and requires the user to specify the number of samples in advance. I've ran several instances of FMT star with various numbers of samples, which is why there are multiple yellow lines in these plots. A bit star is not restricted to narrow passage problems and also performs well in obstacle configurations with many homotopy classes. Let's look at time synchronized 10 second runs of RT star on the left, bit star in the middle, and a bit star on the right. A bit star will find an initial solution in just 0.02 seconds, followed by bit star at 0.7 seconds and then RT star at 0.38 seconds. Here's what this looks like. A BitStar has already found its initial solution. Now BitStar has found its initial solution. And now RTSR has found its initial solution as well. By now, all planners have found the optimal homotopy class and are converging towards the optimal solution. Let's look at statistical results for a representative random obstacle configuration in two dimensions. Again, all planners were run 100 times for 0.2 seconds. We can see that a bit star is again faster than the other asymptotically optimal planners, and for this particular problem, it is sometimes even faster than RRT Connect. A bit star also performs well in higher dimensional spaces, as we'll see on the next slide. These plots show the performance of the planners on an eight dimensional problem with random hyperrectangles as obstacles. This time, the planners were run 100 times for one minute each. More results, including a BitStar's best and worst performances relative to RT Connect in random rectangle worlds, can be found in the paper. The benefits of a BitStar were demonstrated in the real world on the NASA JPL Axel rover system. Axel is a next generation rover that is specialized for challenging terrain and steep slopes. A BitStar was used to plan paths for Axel through the rough landscapes of a Martian analog site during a week-long field test in the Mojave Desert in California. Planning for Axel is difficult because edge evaluations are computationally expensive. This is because they include settling every state along an edge onto the terrain in order to check it for collision with the main body. Despite this, and despite the challenging terrain, a BitStar was able to help Axel achieve 95% autonomy by distance in its autonomy test. This video shows a bit star as it finds a path for Axel down a steep slope. In this instance, the start and goal states are about 30 meters apart and there are complex rover terrain interactions to consider while planning. Once again, you can see how a bit star finds an initial solution quickly and then asymptotically converges towards the optimal solution in an anytime manner. Thank you for tuning into this presentation. I'm happy to announce that a BitStar is freely available in the Open Motion Planning Library, or OMPL for short. You can find further information about the research we do at the Estimation Search and Planning Group and the Oxford Robotics Institute on the web pages listed on the slide. We also present another planning algorithm called AIT Star in this year's ICRA. I hope you have a good day, or a good night. Goodbye.